Welcome everybody to Astro Dude YouTube channel. Um, and today we're going to do some more budgets on, sorry, flats on a budget. Uh, and we're going to try to um, use astrophotography tool, which I have up here right now on the screen. So APT, for those who are familiar with that, uh, it's version 3.50. And I'll be using my Altair Astro 183 color camera. So I've already uh, I've already put the uh, LCD flat panel on top of my telescope with a T-shirt, and it's on the lowest setting for the brightness. And what I wanted to do today is try to use the uh, the Wizard, which is. Um, much easier than trying to guess what exposure your camera should have to make flats uh, with your uh, LCD drafting panel or, or flats box or whatever you're using. So in under tools, if you click on tools in APT and you've already connected your camera, make sure, this is the other thing I wanted to mention. Let's just go back to the camera for a moment and let's see if we can go settings. It'll ask you to turn off the camera. And the gain and the offset are the same as it was last night for the Galaxy M106. So I didn't change any of that. Uh, in a previous video, I believe I was doing it in Sharp Cap and in Sequence Generator Pro, I had put the black level to zero and the, the lowest gain possible. But now I'm going to leave everything as is, which someone mentioned before that you don't have to lower the gain to nothing and the black level to nothing to get a, a good flat. So this is another experiment. So I'm going to leave everything as is in that term. Go back to Tools. Scroll down to CCD Flat Aid. And the Altair Astro 183 Hypercam color is 12-bit, which makes the total ADU 4,098. A flat, a good flat, is 50% of 4,098. So I set it here to about 20, we could go 2045. In the ADU range percentage, no more than 5% up or 5% down. So maybe no more than 2100 and no more than 1950. Uh, start exposure will be one second. That's the longest I want the camera to take a snapshot to see if that's good or not. Uh, that should say that's probably the slowest, one second. And um, the minimum exposure in seconds will be 0 .0 0.02. I'll just write that, type that back in. Maximum is no more than two seconds. If the light is very, very, very dark, try to go up to at least two seconds to get... 2045 ADU or 50% of the histogram, which is down here, put it up here. All right, so that we are half of the full well. The full well is 4094. So I took, I chose 2045, which would be 4090. I'm bidding two by two because last night I was shooting two by two on M106. There's no region of interest. There are no filters. And I would like to create a flats plan. And the flats count will be 30 frames. But normally, I'd like to have 40 or even 50 flats. I also like to have 50 darks. And for those who have bias, you can go 50 bias. Uh, now I've heard that more and more 30 darks and 30 flats, not quite enough. It averages out all right, but it averages out a lot better if you have 60. And this is by people who wrote the Pix Insight manual, Warren Keller. So 50 or 60 flats, 50 or 60 darks. So let's run this. Again, 50% ADU, 5% up or down, look up a bit, down a bit from our 50% or 48 and 52%. Start at one second maximum, go as low as 0 0.02, which not sure what that represents, one 250th of a second or one one quarter of a second whatever that is in in numbers photography for camera wise and the maximum exposure don't go over two seconds that should that'll probably overexpose it anyway so let's hit run and let's see what happens okay 
Okay, so what it's doing now is it's taking a whole bunch of series of pictures in between one second and 0 0.02. And it's searching for 2045 and something in between. When it finds 2045 ADU, which is 50% or half of 4094, I believe it was, um, it'll stop and say complete. And if you look up here, status, it says C for complete. Uh, because this is a color camera, you'll have red and blue down on the hard left here and a lot of green on the right because it's RGGB or green green. So this looks pretty good histogram wise, which if you average out this, this uh, mountain of the histogram and this one, the center would be right about here. And here's showing a 12 of between 1200 and 2800, which half of that would be about 2050, which is pretty good. And apparently, if you look down here, target ADU range reached with the exposure of 0.15 or 0 0.15, current ADU 2014, which is perfect. So we've run it and we know it's good. So we're going to close this. Go back to camera, and now it created a plan here. And if you want, you can hit edit right here. So flat aids result is 0 0.15 second, binning 2 by 2, 30 of them, which is all on the side here. Again, exposure, 0 0.157. Bidding two by two, pause for one second in between each frame and 30 frames. So here normally I would just remove a little bit of that and put test three and say OK. Flat aids test three. And probably when I start it, it'll re ask me for uh, another name that so it can. No you know, so you, so you know what you're doing. So in my case, I would put M106, or sorry, 6, FLT, those flats. If I say OK, it will take 30, to 30 subs, bin 2 by 2, at the exposure of 0 0.15 for an ADU of about just over 2,000, which is 50% of 4,090, 94. So hit OK. Now we're going to have to wait and see what happens. It's counting up the five second delay. So everything stabilizes. And now it's one of 30, two of 30. We just have to let it run. Don't mind waiting a, a minute or so. That's pretty fast because the files bin two by two are about nine meg. If I was binning one by one on a 20 megapixel camera, which this is, you'd be looking at 38 meg files. Then they would take quite a while to transfer a 38 meg file in one second. So it'll probably buffer. But so far, so good. And as you can see up here, we already have a nice dust bunny or a moat, a uh, piece of dust on the cover clear glass. And the outer edges are not really that dark. We have to have faith that our light is good and our gain and offset is good and the ADU was reached properly by the exposure that we asked it to do, which was half of uh, 4,094. So coming up on 27 to 30, if you look in the top left here, 28, 29, 30 frames, and it says complete. Now, let's go to C drive, which is where APT keeps its files. APT images, go to CCD1. Um, this is April 7th, and we should have flats M106 FLT, and flats plan 8 test 3, which I pre-named it before. They are 0 0.157 seconds. And there's 30 of them. So you have all your flats. From here, you can bring them into PixInsight and create a master flat. Or use a batch pre-processing and put your lights, darks, flats. And for those who use bias, put your bias in. And these should average out and divide 
all those dust bunnies off of your main primary galaxy image or whatever telescope you're shooting um, to get rid of all these uh, the vignette a lot of the vignette on the, I have some vignette here quite a bit you don't see it here but you, just, you see it on the other pictures and of course there's a moat here and when we stretch this at certain ways I can also tell that there's um, um, all other little ones auto stretch this let me just do that again yeah, so you see there's darker green here, and it's really bright in the center. Bright in the center, and a darker green on the edges, so that's vignette. And of course, this is a color camera, and it's debayering on the fly, because I set it up to debayer. It could be, it could just show black and white, but I like to have it that way. All right, that prior, it's actually that simple. It takes five minutes. If everything is set up properly, and you follow these little tips, and these little steps, and create... Uh, your 30, 40, 50 flats with your LCD on top of your camera and the T-shirt at the lowest possible setting. Uh, you should have some good flats to go. And of course, I'll be testing these later and, and making another video and see how they turned out. If they turned out too dark and then something was wrong with the, maybe the gain or the lighting or if they turned out too white, if they overcorrect, then perhaps uh, the ADU was more than 50%, less than 50%. You have to kind of experiment. And I've heard this from so many people saying the whole 50% ADU thing does not always work. Sometimes you have to just manually input uh, a, a setting in terms of speed or exposure time for your flats to come down to the point where they will divide out properly and remove the dust modes. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button and also the bell so you can get extra new updated videos. I have a few more coming. For example, SharpCap 3.1's polar alignment using your finder scope and either uh, ZWO 120 or the, the uh, GP cam from Altair Astro. Thanks a lot. It was fun. Hope you enjoyed it and see you on the flip side. Bye for now.